In this video, we're going to be comparing the Behringer SL84C to the Behringer B1 microphone. So the Behringer SL84C is the microphone you can see me using right here. And this microphone goes for about 20 Australian dollars. And for that, you get a mostly metal build construction, as well as a decent sounding dynamic capsule inside, which as you can hear, sounds pretty impressive for the price. Now, of course, it is an XLR microphone. So to pair with this microphone, you will need to pick up an XLR cable as well as an audio interface. So the audio interface of choice I would recommend for, for a budget-friendly user or anyone really. It's a good interface. It will suit anyone. It costs about 60 Australian dollars and that is the Behringer Euphoria UM2 interface. And this interface is very good value for money. It does only have one XLR port on it. But if you're only using one mic, then that's not a problem at all. And of course, you do have an instrument port in there as well. So you can plug in an instrument or anything like that. But that's enough about audio interfaces. Let's talk about this microphone. So this microphone is very good value for money. And it's my budget pick of microphones in its price range, even compared to the Behringer XM8500. I know a lot of people said this doesn't have enough warmth in the sound compared to the XM8500. But I would disagree. If you do get right up on the microphone like I am now, there's plenty of warmth in there and it sounds really good. It has a crystal clear sound, unlike the Behringer XM8500, which has a bit of muddiness in the top end, which doesn't make it sound that good. But what I would recommend to pair up with this microphone is a foam windscreen to put over the top so then it doesn't cause as many plosives because as you can probably hear throughout this video it does cause a fair bit of plosives anyway this is what this microphone sounds like it's a very good sounding microphone for 20 australian dollars and i would highly recommend it okay now i have the behringer b1 connected to the audio interface so this microphone runs for about 120 australian dollars and for that price, you get a fully metal build construction, which feels extremely solid in the hand. And it has a really nice heft to it, which just feels incredible. The build quality on this mic is outstanding. This microphone is really good value for money compared to some of the big dogs out there, like the offerings from Rode and Neumann and other microphone brands out there. This one actually stacks up really well. It has a really nice sound to it, and it's not that expensive. But of course, compared to this microphone, it is a lot more expensive. It's $100 more expensive. So is it worth the extra price? Well, if you're in the market for one of these, you probably wouldn't be looking at one of these, basically. But I'd say this microphone holds up extremely well compared to the Behringer B1. Now, of course, the sounds are quite different, but they both do sound really good, and especially for their respective price ranges. So my conclusion would be that either one of these microphones is a good mic. Obviously, this is way better. But I was basically just doing this comparison to show how good this microphone is and how well it punches above its price bracket. And this microphone, of course, is one of my favorites that I have. I love the sound of it. And anyway, I hope this video did help you out in some way, shape or form. Hopefully it showed you that this microphone is a very good mic and I definitely recommend picking one of these up. So with all that out of the way, if you did enjoy this video, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.